Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my top five most favorite red lipsticks in my collection that I totally recommend for this holiday season. So if you're excited for the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe before you leave. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, I usually always have a very specific look in mind when I wear a red lipstick. I definitely do not want to have anything overpowering the red lipstick, so I go with a more neutral, natural eye. And if it's the holiday season, I definitely love a sparkly, nice, neutral eyeshadow, just like what I have on right now. It's nice and sparkly, but at the same time, it's pretty soft. Lots of mascara and a bold red lip. Second of all, I would say my favorite types of red lipsticks have to be long-lasting, have to be very, very full coverage, very opaque, intense colors. And while I don't mind them transferring, I definitely want them to be long-lasting or matte enough that I'm going to have them for a while and that I know that they're not going to smear everywhere because I'm not the most careful person when it comes to lipstick and I certainly do not want to end up with lipstick all over my face. It's happened before, okay? <laughs> so these are all going to be long-lasting. They're not going to smear everywhere. If you need to reapply them, it'll be like after you eat something very greasy like that might take them away. But just drinking or snacking on like finger food per se will not take these lipsticks away. Another thing to note is I have yet to find a red lipstick with an orange undertone that I like. So all five lipsticks that I'll be going over today have a neutral undertone or a blue undertone. With that said, let's get started with the first one. And the first one is, of course, the one that I am wearing right now. This lipstick is from Kierwise, and it came to my life by mistake. I ordered the Danessa Myricks palette last month to review for you, and I got somebody else's order. When I called to make sure I got my palette, they said that I could keep the order that I got by mistake, and there were two lipsticks in there, one of them being this one right here. This is the Kier Weiss lipstick in the color KW Red. Like I said, it is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, and I have used it a handful of times since I got it, and I have fallen in love with it. It definitely does transfer. Let's do a test right there, you can see. And it is a liquid lipstick. Let me show you the swatch right here, as you can see. Very, very full of pigment right away. And it has sort of a matte finish to it. The way I could explain this formula is if you got a bullet lipstick with a matte finish and you melted it into a liquidy, moussey type of lipstick, because this has a liquid formula with a little bit of a moussey feel, not too much of a moussey feel, but a little bit of a moussey feel, and it looks matte once you put it on your lips. It is very long lasting. You don't need a lip liner for it. I applied it today without a lip liner. Very opaque and I would say this is kind of like a neutral red lipstick, not too much of a blue undertone, but it's also not orange. This is flattering on pretty much all skin tones. Actually, I believe all of the lipsticks I'm going to talk about today are flattering on all skin tones because they all have this neutral or blue tone that I find fits everybody. And I honestly can't believe I was lucky enough to find one of my all-time favorite red lipsticks by mistake, you know? Like, this just kind of arrived at my doorstep. I didn't order it, the company didn't send it to me, and I was told to keep it, so of course I had to try it. I love the formula, I love the color, love the pigmentation, absolutely love the packaging. This cap thing right here from Kierweiss, this is the most weighted, most heavy thing ever, and so it makes this lipstick feel and look extremely extremely luxurious. Let's move on to the next lipstick. And by the way, these are not organized in any particular order. I'm just showing you my top 
five. And the next one is this right here. I have a little one of it. The one you get is bigger. This is the color Star Woman from NARS and I just want to get the liquid ones out of the way first. So let me put this on. This is the most liquidy red lipstick ever. If you've ever tried a Fenty liquid lipstick, these kind of feel like that. But in my opinion, this liquid NARS formulas are better. Okay, so here is the lipstick applied. As you can see, this one has a little bit more of a blue tone in comparison to the Kirwise one and it feels very different. The Kirwise has like a liquid moussey type of consistency and this right here feels like water on the lips. I believe it makes it a teeny tiny bit more challenging to apply because you have to be extremely careful with the edges of your lips because this lipstick being so watery, it can go a little bit further than you want it to very, very easily. However, if you just take your time and go little by little and don't apply too much product, you don't need to apply too much product at all. This is extremely, extremely pigmented. You'll get the most stunning result. These are very, very long lasting. They dry down to a beautiful matte finish. They do also transfer, but I would say less than the Cure Wise one. I feel like if you get the full size of this lipstick, it will last you forever because a tiny bit of this one goes such a long way. I love the liquidy formula because it doesn't feel like anything on my lips and this has a true blue tone to it and so it is definitely one of my favorite types of reds to wear because I just feel like it's very complimentary and it makes my eyes stand out and it makes my teeth look wider and I highly recommend this one for your holiday looks. My next favorite holiday red is definitely, I think, probably the most popular red lipstick ever. And that is Ruby Woo from MAC Cosmetics. I got this one as part of this MAC Cosmetics holiday set right here. And I had never actually tried Ruby Woo before and I get the hype, okay? I get it. First of all, it is extremely easy to apply. It is not overly pigmented. You can make a few mistakes and it's very forgiving. It has a beautiful formula. It builds up to this beautiful neutral toned red that is nice and bright, but still very wearable. Okay, here it is right here. Definitely probably the brightest out of all of the lipsticks that I'm showing you today. But like I said, even though it's a little bit of a brighter red, it still looks really nice and it's flattering on a lot of different skin tones. Max Ruby Woo is the most affordable out of all of the five lipsticks that I'm talking about in today's video. And when I tell you this is worth every single penny, it's not as pigmented right away as the rest of the lipsticks that I'm talking about today, but it builds up to perfection. It builds up to this nice and opaque red color. This red lipstick is extremely comfortable to wear. It definitely makes a statement and it has like a satin to matte finish to it. It will definitely once again transfer. Let's do a transfer test on this one right there. <laughs> But like the rest of the lipsticks that I'm talking about in today's video, it's not going to wear off right away. It's not going to smear everywhere. If you're eating kind of like finger food or just drinking wine or whatever your drink of preference is, it's going to stay on your lips. Now, if you have dinner, you'll definitely need to touch it up afterwards because it will wear off at least in the center, but still long lasting. And I think this one and the NARS one are the two most comfortable to wear because they feel very thin and with the MAC one specifically, your lips feel very, very hydrated. So I think if you're looking for comfort and hydration, Ruby Woo will be the one to go. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the last two lipsticks I'm going to talk about are both from Lisa Eldridge. And I have absolutely fallen in love with Lisa's Velvet Formula. It is very matte very long lasting. It barely transfers, but at the same time, it is very comfortable to wear. Now with this one, I feel like you have to be a little bit careful when applying it because since it has a matte formula, it doesn't glide as easily as Max Ruby Woo, for instance. 
and you definitely do not want to break your lipstick. So I don't put it up a lot and I'm very very careful when applying it. The first one I'm going to tell you about is Velvet Ribbon which is the brightest one out of the two. This red lipstick is just a very classic red color and I absolutely love it. You can see how pigmented these are right away. Okay, so this right here is what Velvet Ribbon looks like without a lip liner. I find it a little bit hard to get the edges to look perfect with this one. Just take a look right there. It's not bad, but I try to make them even better with a little bit of a lip liner. This one is also from Lisa Eldritch, and this is the lip liner in the color Jazz. Okay, I fixed those edges just a teeny tiny bit with this. I will say one of the most surprising things about the velvet lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge is how long they last and how little they transfer. I remember the first time I wore one of the Lisa Eldridge red lipsticks, I drank some water from a glass in my kitchen um, a few minutes after I had applied it and there wasn't too much transfer, especially for a bullet lipstick. So I was very, very surprised at that and then I was even more surprised at how long it lasted. These do need to be touched up after you have dinner but barely and just in the center. They last for a very very long time, they feel comfortable on the lips, they have this really nice natural to matte finish. Honestly kind of the same things I've been saying throughout the video because that is the reason why I picked these lipsticks, the longevity, the comfort, the fact that they don't dry my lips out and so of course this velvet ribbon lipstick from Lisa Eldridge is also very, very highly recommended. <laughs> I wore this one the other day to go take some pictures with my husband and we ended up going to have dinner to a nearby restaurant afterwards and after dinner I went to Sephora. Point is, I think I had the lipstick on for like six plus hours. It definitely needed to be retouched after the restaurant but what I did was, since it had worn off right in the middle but like all of the edges still look perfect, I blended it inwards with my finger and so it gave it a bit more of like a sheer lipstick type of vibe but I still had red lipstick all throughout and I was kind of able to make it work like that. <laughs> I would have preferred to take the lipstick with me so that I could have retouched but even without me retouching just kind of blending it in a little bit I was able to eat a full meal and still have some lipstick on afterwards. Okay so lastly let's move on to the fifth lipstick. Taking off a red lipstick is super messy. Imagine doing it four times. Okay so the last lipstick like I said before is also from Lisa Eldritch and it is this one right here. This one is called Velvet Jazz and when I tell you this is the most impressive dark red lip ever. If you feel intimidated with the brighter reds that I just showed you but you still want to try and dive into a red lipstick, this right here would probably be my recommendation for you because it is darker, not as bright, and I feel like you'll be more comfortable wearing this than the more statement type of lipsticks that I just showed you, but you'll still be definitely wearing a beautiful red lipstick. So let me put this one on. Okay, so this is it right here. I did just perfect the edges a teeny tiny bit with the Jazz lip liner, which is of course the perfect lip liner for it. And as you can see, this is another beautiful, beautiful red lipstick. I find this one to be a little bit less intimidating than the rest personally because it's not as bright in your face, it's a little bit darker, a little bit grungier, but it still has the essence of a beautiful red lipstick and so I absolutely love it. And well, as far as the formula is concerned, exactly what I said about the previous one because obviously they have the same formula. Super creamy, long lasting, it doesn't smear everywhere, pretty nice to control and just overall extremely, extremely comfortable to wear. Let's do a little bit of a kiss test with this one because I forgot to do it with the previous one and like I said, they have the same formula. Alrighty, take a look right there. I will say I'm doing the kiss test as soon as the lipstick is kind of applied, but these lipsticks do get a little bit drier once you're wearing them for a couple of hours, so they might transfer even less after a couple of hours. So just keep that in mind. But yes, like I said before, if you're intimidated by red lipsticks, this right here is the first one you need to try because it being a little bit darker and not as bright makes it a lot easier to transition into brighter reds when you start with this 
this one. With that said, these are my top five most favorite red lipsticks and of course I will have them all linked down below for you. Let me know down in the comment section which one of these was your favorite. I would be very interested in knowing. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, if you're new to my channel, please don't leave without subscribing. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!